let us now look into the structure of a neuron. Neurons are structural and functional units of the nervous system. An estimated number of about 10 billion neurons are supposed to populate human nervous system. Each neuron cont contains a cell body or a soma and multiple processes called as neurites of which one is an elongated axon and the others are dendrites. Cell membrane is polarized maintaining a negative 70 millivolts on the inside which is an important feature allowing for the conduct of nerve impulse. Cell body contains a central vesicular nucleus with prominent nucleoli. An eccentric nucleus usually indicates cell injury. Cytoplasm contains all regular organelle including centrioles, neurofilaments and microtubules. But the characteristic feature of the cytoplasm is the presence of nissel substance which are angular basophilic structures made up of rough endoplasmic reticulum. The nissel substance extend into the dendrites but are absent in the axon hillock and chromatolysis or absence of nissel substance again indicates cell injury. Cell body also shows some other inclusions like lipochrome and lipofusin with age, neuromelanin in the neurons of substantia nigra or certain metallic inclusions like copper in the neurons of locus ceruleus, zinc in the neurons of hippocampus and iron in the neurons of oculomotor nucleus. Two types of neurites are present, dendrites and axon. Dendrites conduct nerve impulse towards the soma. Their number varies from one to many and usually these are branching processes showing spines on the surface which mark the site of synapses. Axon are single elongated process which conduct the nerve impulse away from the soma. They may be myelinated and collateral branches arise between two adjacent segments of myelin called as nodes of Ranvier. Axon ends by branching called as telodendria which show terminal buttons marking the site of synapses. Axoplasm allows for both anterograde and retrograde transportation. The retrograde transportation plays an important role in spread of rabies and polio, unlike tetanus which spreads along the endoneurium. The initial segment of the axon has maximum sodium ion channels which acts as a trigger zone for the beginning of action potential. In a myelinated nerve fiber, each axon is surrounded by short segments of myelin sheets which help in insulation. Between two adjacent myelin sheet segments, there is node of Ranvier. This myelination is done by oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system. Each oligodendrocyte myelinating 50 to 100 nerve fibers, whereas myelination is done by Schwann cell in the peripheral nervous system, where each Schwann cell myelinates only a single nerve fiber. In case of certain demyelinating diseases like multiple sclerosis, myelin from oligodendrocyte is found to be degenerating but myelin from the Schwann cell is spared. When we see a section of a myelinated nerve fiber from inside out, it shows a central core of axon cylinder surrounded by axolemma which is in turn surrounded by myelin which is nothing but the concentric spiraling of the oligodendrocyte or the Schwann cell cytoplasm and the plasma lemma. Outermost layer of the myelin is the cell membrane of the oligodendrocyte or the Schwann cell called as neurilemma and this in turn is covered by a layer of endoneurium made up of connective tissue. Myelination begins at about 16 to 20 weeks of intrauterine life but continues for different periods in different areas of brain and peripheral nervous system like pyramidal tract completes its myelination in about two years whereas certain areas in the prefrontal cortex take up all the way up to third decade after life of life for the completion of myelination when you take a section of myelin it's basically made up of alternating layers of proteins and lipids rich in cholesterol lecithin and phospholipids and this myelination, in addition to acting as an insulating material around the axon, 
helps in faster conduction by means of what we call as saltatory conduction which wherein the impulse jumps from one node of Ranvier to the next. With myelination, the cytoplasm of the oligodendrocyte or the Schwann cell is squeezed out. So what is left in the myelin is actually the adjacent layers of cell membranes only. But at certain places cytoplasm has, is still visible like in case of subneuralemmal zone, periaxonal space, schmidt lanterman space which are the gaps between adjacent cell membranes allowing for tra material transportation and the paranodal region that is immediately adjacent to nodes of Ranbier. Myelin sheath however is absent in the initial segment at the nodes of Ranbier and at the termination of the axon. Functions of neurons are basically to encode information by transient depolarization and repolarization, conduct this information by saltatory movement and transmit the information from one neuron to the next neuron at the synapses or from one neuron to the effector organ like say at neuromuscular junction to the muscle. Neurons can be classified based on functions as sensory neurons, motor neurons and interneurons. Sensory neurons carry either general or special sensation towards the sense, central nervous system. Motor neurons carry the nerve impulse from the central nervous system towards the effector organs. Interneurons are restricted within the CNS, they are the largest number of neurons and they connect one type of neuron to the other. Neurons can also be classified based on the processes as unipolar having a single process, these cells are not seen in the human beings. Pseudo unipolar, although the cell has a single process, that process immediately divides into two branches, one branch acting as a dendrite and the other acting as an axon, although structurally both of them resemble the structure of an axon. Such neurons are found in sensory ganglia. Bipolar neurons, these are spindle shaped neurons having one dendrite at one pole and an axon at the opposite pole. Such cells are seen in the special sense organs. But the most abundant type of neurons are the multipolar neurons having one axon and multiple dendrites. Neurons can also be classified based upon their shape as stellate, pyramidal, basket, spindle or fusiform or flask shaped. They can all be also be classified based upon the length of the axon as Golgi type 1 having a long process and Golgi type 2 having short process and amacrine cells which have no axon at all as seen in case of retinoff eye. If you see that Golgi type 1 neuron, the longest cells are those belonging to the fasciculus gracilis. Although the neuronal cell bodies are present in this lower part of the spinal cord, their one process reaches the tip of the toes. The cell bodies will be somewhere in the S1, S2, S3 sensory ganglia and the other process will reach the medulla. So if a person, like if you are having a height of about 6 feet, the cell actually span a whole length of 6 feet starting from the tip of your toe all the way to the middle of long eta. Size of the neurons again varies from 4 microns in case of granule cells to 100 microns in case of bed cells. Generally motor neurons tend to be larger than the sensory neurons or the interneurons and neurons with longer processes are larger than the neurons with shorter processes. Like in case of granule cells in the cerebellum, their size is just about the same as that of the size of the nucleus of the Purkinje cells which are just adjacent to them. Neurons because they are specialized cells, they fail to multiply after birth. But certain sites in the brain are found to be having stem cells even after birth. They are the subventricular zone of lateral ventricle or in case of hippocampus may be in the granule cell zone of the cerebellum. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can visit us at this site for other videos. Thank you very much.